It's time for Washington Fish Quest. This episode, Marine Area 10 Resident Coho and Crab. Hey Washington Fish Questers, uh, Blake here. That's uh, Levi there. Uh, so Levi and I met uh, out at Fish Lake last January when uh, just out there during the Prince Fishery. And he invited me to Marine Area 10 here. Uh, it's it's li very late July and it's kind of like a transitional period right now. So we're fishing for anything that bites. The most likely thing is resident coho still. But, you know, we're going to go deeper for some kings and try for some pinks as well. Put some pink gear on to see how we do. Hopefully we get into some fish. We also drop four pots. Oh, hey, what do we got here? <laughs> came off. Shoot. Hey, that would have been a good intro, man. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been awesome. <laughs> it's still pretty good, though. So at any rate, join Levi and I as we, uh, you know, just troll for whatever we can get. Coho, pinks, kings, it's all good. And we'll pull those pots at the end of the video. We've been trolling all morning and uh, Levi just got into something that looks kind of serious. Could be anything, but looks like it's got some horsepower behind it. Keeping the motor going to keep the pressure on. Getting close. All right, resident silver. I think we got some bait. Yeah. The boat over there's got a king on. That is one bent rod. Levi continues to mop the floor with me. I can take some solace in that he said it's not big. No, oh, yep. Shaker. Hey, all right. Where are you at? Uh, I'm at 68. All right. Uh, Levi just netted my first uh, resi silver of the day here. About what they look like. Yeah, I got all tangled up there, but you know, you've seen them. Got a mystery fish on here. As is often the case out here, you know, Levi. Oh my gosh. Whoa, check this out. I wouldn't have guessed a dogfish with a giant. Uh, we weren't that close to the bottom. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't know. Dude, that is very. That is wild. Oh no! All right, I got the fly. Levi got one on here. It's about ten o'clock. The flotilla, as he calls it, has left. It did come off. I think it might have. It's on there. All right. Ah. Sure. Not that big. Yeah. <laughs> that was resident coho number three. It's getting a little choppy out here for my little boat, so 
and it's late in the day so uh, pretty much we're keeping any fish we can retain right now and uh, all I need is one more and we'll be good. Alright, if we get this one in, it's the last one of the day. It's running with me, or it came off one or the other. Oh no, it's still there. Oh yeah. Little... Whoa. Oh man. Oh my gosh. Is that a king? Yeah, a little king. Yeah, I can tell it's a king. <laughs> Going crazy. Alright, I'll get that guy back. Well, we won't ever take him out of the water, but we'll get him back, you know, without a hook in his face here. Woo! Oh, that's awesome. Hey, you stay away, Seagull. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Yeah, let's see if yeah. I can. There we go. There we go. Woo! <laughs> oh, thank you. It's funky. All right, well, maybe we got number four here. Not huge again, but oh god, oh god, definitely running around. Woo! Number four. Hey, all right, that's a limit. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Thanks so much for taking me out, Levi. This has been great. Uh, yeah. Now we got those pots to go pull. All right, there's our four resident coho. Let's go see if we can get some resident dungeness. All right, here's our first pull. Oh no. <laughs> here's our first pull, let's see, it's about 10.40. You know, we dropped these at G's four something. <laughs> They've been in down for about six hours. I'm gonna start looking over the side, see if I can get a peek. Yeah. There's some grab in there. Let's see what we got. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I had the motor going. Oh. So that seemed incredibly hard, that was why. It's all good. I thought it was a neutral. That was like unusually tough. <laughs> all right, so here's one keeper. Six and a quarter on the button. Hard shell condition. There you go. Do we need our salmon, please? Yeah, I think this one's a little bigger even. Yeah. Yep, he's good. Yeah, all right. He's almost six and a half, so. Woo! Awesome. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. So, two keepers in this pot. Oh no. No, no. Haha, <laughs> got it on film too. Alright. Pull two. All we need is eight more to limit. It feels super light, but I could just be like really strong, you know? <laughs> Probably what's going on here. I don't think you're off the bottom yet. Oh, that makes sense. I think it's still coming up. So you're saying I was just pulling the line itself? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seem to have gotten much weaker since the pot actually lifted off the ground. Oh, there's some crab in there. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a really good one right there. Maybe three. Yeah, no question there. Woo! Yeah, that's the biggest one on the pole, and these ones here are already closer to seven inches, so that's a, that's a jumbo for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, here's pole number three. We already have five crab in the boat, so feeling pretty good. Yeah, we got some crab. Yeah. Woo! Man, that's the best pot yet. Oh my gosh. That's, that's the toad right there. A lot of these are jumbo. Yeah, a lot of these are jumbo as long as they're hard shell. We got four or five keeper in here, easy. Maybe six. Right, like measuring jumbo there. Holy smokes, look at that. There we go. That's good crab. We've got limit of resident coho, limit of crab. I think you all know what this means, and that is that uh, Levi is now contractually obligated to come out on every Washington Fish Quest episode because uh, that just means surefire success. One keeper, maybe two. Yeah. Let's see if that's a male. All right. Well, hey, uh, geez. Four coho, ten crab. See you next time on Washington Fish Quest. <laughs>